everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i know i haven't posted a video or uploaded a video in such a long time it's been ages i think the last time i posted one was before my um, workshop that i spoke about on the previous video and that was like in march so yeah i know i haven't uploaded i'm really sorry but hopefully i'm going to get back into uploading regularly um I've just been really busy trying to sort some stuff out and get things going get things up and running the workshop that i had um was really good uh the people who enjoyed it that attended I got really good feedback. Um, it was on sleep, um, no stress, anxiety, and depression, and people just really liked it. People went home very relaxed, and I really loved it. And um, it just really gave me motivation to do more. So yeah, I will be doing more hopefully this year. Um, let me know if you have any ideas on what you want the workshop to be focused on. They're always going to be very practical, hopefully. So yeah, bear that in mind. So the sun has finally come out in England. Like we've been, it's been such a long winter and. I've just been so, I'm fed up of the, the wind and the rain and the cold and everything and the clouds but it's really sunny today and I had to get out. Um, I've just come to some park, some meadows thing um, and I thought, you know what, it's springtime. It's that time of year when a lot of the herbs are coming up, a lot of the flowers that we can use. So I thought I'll take my camera with me and see what herbs I can find and maybe do some recording and stuff like that. It's totally unplanned so I don't even know if this place has herbs like that but um, let's see anyway. I will do a proper video, a planned one on like a little herb walk to kind of show you some herbs and their medicinal properties and how they can be used. But yeah, let's see what we can find today. So this is the first herb that I found. It might be the only herb that I find today. But yeah, I'm sure you all know what this is. This is nettle. And nettle is one of my favorite herbs at this time of year. Um, it's so beneficial in its properties, especially when you pick them early in the spring when they first come up. They're really rich in vitamins and minerals. After like after like a long winter with um, you know a lot of these stodgy foods and things like that, nettle is a really great great cleansing herb. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It has anti-allergy properties. So at this time of year, when a lot of people are suffering from um, allergies, hay fever and whatnot, nettle is a great herb to include in your teas, in your food. Um, no wonder why it comes up this time of year just when it's needed uh, as you all know nettle you probably hate it for this reason but nettle nettle stings they have little tiny hairs that release um, the substance into your skin that makes it itch and sting and a bit painful you can pick nettle obviously you can use gloves if you don't have gloves there's a good way to pick nettle on the underside of the leaf there are no hairs they're only on the upper side and on the stem so if you really need it and you don't have any gloves just Grab it from underneath like this. It's a bit risky business. Grab it from underneath, make sure you only touch the underside and then squash it between your hands. Because basically when you squash it, the hairs all wilt and they like they they basically become inactive. So you can just squash it like this, rub it in between your hands, make sure all the, the um the hairs or the needles are kind of just squashed. Once they're like squashed and wilted, they can't sting you anymore. You can just eat this if you want um, or juice it. But yeah, some of this nettle just because um, I want to make a lovely nettle soup from it or some nettle juice or something just to get some nutrients inside. Um, I do have a recipe on nettle soup. Um, it is on my Herb of the Month email. If you haven't yet subscribed to my Herb of the Month, um, subscribe, go to my website, sophiatheherbalist.co.uk. I'll put the link below, just click subscribe. And basically I send you an email every month about a particular herb um, and its uses and some recipes from it, for it, that you can use with it. So yeah, the Herb of the Month for this month, April, was nettle. I've already sent it out, but there's a lovely um, nettle soup recipe in it. So I'm gonna pick some of these nettles and show you how to make the soup. Yeah, as you can see, I've got some gloves, so I'm gonna pick um, a few bunches. I'm gonna like get a couple handfuls, because nettle is just like spinach. Whenever you cook it or whatever, it just like wilts down to like quarter of the size. So yeah, I'm gonna use the glove and get some now. Another thing that I forgot to mention about nettle, um, which is not usually um, spoken about, but the root of the nettle is commonly used in um, benign prostatic hypertrophy and that's when the prostate of a man is enlarged and it can cause symptoms like constant urination not completely emptying uh, wean in the night or you know painful urination but yeah um, nettle root is uh, used in that condition and it can 
produce really good results and help symptomatically. So yeah, nettle root. <laughs> and that's the root of the nettle, so not the leaves, but the root down under. So I'm going to be doing this herbal cleanse this month, um, or the end of the month. I'm planning to start it on the 29th of April. Um, a few people want to get involved. Um, so if you do, let me know as soon as possible and we can all do it together. I think when you do it uh, with people, it makes it easier. So it's going to be a seven day herbal cleanse. Um, we're going to be drinking herbal teas each day, having some juices and smoothies, um, having one meal a day. It's going to be like a really plain meal, either like salads or fruit salads, some raw foods. Um, yeah, so no heavy meals. We're going to completely cut out any like grains, wheat, uh, definitely sugar and gluten and dairy. But yeah, if you do want to join, it'll be really good. It's really gentle cleanse. It's nothing too serious anyone will be able to do it so just let me know uh, um, if you want to be kept updated follow me on instagram at sophia the herbalist and you'll find out what's going on and you can send me an email or a message and let me know if you want to join and i can provide for you the herbs and tell you a little bit more about the program but yeah do join if you are interested I've just taken it home and I've washed it and I've taken like most of the stems off not all of them but we really just want the leaves um, be careful when you're washing it still use gloves um, I stung myself a couple times not that bad but yeah still use gloves when you're washing it um, and just chuck them in the pot don't worry when they cook they won't uh, sting you anymore so that's fine so that's a lovely nestle that I've got so I'm gonna make that soup recipe that I was telling you about the nettle soup so I've got some fresh nettle, I've got onions and some garlic, um, I've got some green garden peas, I've got some oat milk. Uh, you can use coconut milk if you like or any kind of... So what am I talking about? It's oat cream. You can use coconut cream if you like or whatever you want. And I've got some olive oil and some salt and pepper. This recipe is really simple, so yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So you basically just add the garlic and onion to the pot so I don't have to chop the garlic because you're going to blend this soup at the end so you just add, I've got about six cloves of garlic and add that to the pot. Um, I've got my onion here, I'm going to chop it maybe into about four, just small pieces. It doesn't have to be sliced because as I said you're going to blend it, the onion and the garlic in the pot. And then I'm going to put in the frozen green peas here, then I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. You can use coconut oil if you like, but this is what I've got today. A little bit of olive oil, and then some salt and pepper. And you can add here whatever spices you like. And then you just add some water. So just add enough water to cover everything. And then you just put it on, put the heat on. We can do this. the heat on and then cover it partially so it boils and just gets soft so this takes about uh, 15 minutes maybe if that 10-15 minutes once that's done um, then you're going to add in your nettle leaves you don't want to add them yet because they're quite delicate you don't want them to be like put on a high heat for too long so it's been about 10-15 minutes and Everything's softened up in here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the nettle, the nettle leaves, and turn the heat off and just cover it and let it wilt like you would do spinach, just for about five minutes or so. So what I'm going to do now is pour the soup into a blender and just blend it all up. soup back into the pot. You see it's lovely and green and nutritious. And then I'm going to add some cream to it. And feel free to top it with anything that you like. Some fresh herbs maybe or some 
like some sauteed mushrooms or some quinoa and then there you have it your soup is all ready so let's take it off fire just pour it into a nice bowl mm -hmm. 